Megan's known for a lot of things, music, cherry blossoms, and it turns out, tennis. For the last five years, the Southern Winter Tennis Tournament has called Megan home. Kayla Solomon shows you what keeps them coming back and what it means for Megan's bottom line. A couple more times so I can get, get it right. I'm going to hit your normal one first, okay? The Southern Winter Tennis Tournament is in town, and the Macon Tennis Association is looking forward to hosting it for another year. And uh, the MTA is, is lucky to be able to host it every year. Um, there's a lot of competition out there that's trying to take the tournaments, the high-level tournaments. And uh, so we're lucky enough to do a, a, well, a good job every year and, and to be able to keep it in the town. Seeing the growth every year, the MTA and Visit Macon are projecting a big economic impact for the city by the end of the four days. Right now, it's, uh, it's at $500,000, uh, half a million dollars, and um, it's, it's based off of them staying in the hotel rooms, eating in the restaurants. The tournament features 230 12-year-olds from nine different states. One is Charlie Robin, who's competing for his second year. I did, I did really well here last year, and the two-seed in my mind, I try not to make it mean anything. I don't try and go in loose and know anything can happen. Charlie goes to a school in Florida that is made for students who play tennis and golf. He attends classes in the morning. And from 1 o'clock, we are supposed to meet at the tennis courts and then play tennis from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock. And Charlie says he likes Macon. It's just another quiet, small city, close to Atlanta. Not a fan of Atlanta, so I'm glad this is Macon. And it's, I, it's just really small and cozy. The idea is to make sure tournament players and organizers continue to feel right at home, so they'll keep coming back. In Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Okay, the tournament runs tomorrow, January 19th until Tuesday the 22nd at the John Drew Smith Tennis Center, Tattnall Square Park, and Stratford Academy.